previously on the season. Creed, make sure those Ford set got off you. Yeah, Creed! Oh, holy. Send them off! Could be a Fijian engine. Just um, talk to Creed and say, Logan, what a crap pass that was. He's been playing out of his skin, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I almost kissed you. 45 mil. Credence has been on form with his kicking whole league. Yeah. Poor slow lift, Mace. Hey. Poor lift. No, that was a good throw. Yeah. Back lift. Mason was pretty late. Yeah. And he should never be late because he doesn't have to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold him up. Hold him up. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Elbow. Thank you. Front shoulder here, eh? So you're going to have to make a call, but is, is he no good? Paul, you reckon, bring Brunt. So that could be the, that could be the sub. Go, go to Ned at six. Yeah. Okay, I'll make that sub. Ned, you're going to go on. You're going to, we're going to pull Brunt in. Yep. So Up 45 points to nil. The biggest challenge for Hamilton Boys High School is complacency against a traditional opposition who will resist a second half onslaught. And for Tyler McNutt, his only consideration is survival against some friendly fire. When this guy carries the ball, he's going to want to be killed, I think. They're looking to kill him every time he's there. If there was any game out of the whole season, it's probably one of the biggest games that I want to be naming, I'll be named in the team for. Just because I really wanted to run out on the field with all my um, friends again, even if it's against them, you know, it did mean quite a lot to me. In a way, it hurt me because a little bit just seeing the scoreboard, because I really wanted a big grudge match against them. Last year, we were thinking that um, the New Plymouth boys team it would really give all the teams a run for their money. So I felt like quite bad for the boys since there was so much hope there. Keep our feet. Ball. Despite a wealth of possession and territory, the New Plymouth defence stands resolute. And against the momentum, the visitors start to find gaps in the defence. That was, that was tough from Luke Ray because he was eyes on the ball. Go Ty! Go Ty! Ty Hilton! Up Luke, up! Good boy Luke! A quick no, ball. ball. Come on. Let's go Hugs. Oh! oh. Might have, that's where Matty Dobbin needed to be. Oh, hey Kamos! Oh, oh f***. I missed the tackle. We don't work. Our butt off. Hey, the whole way down the field to go, sli to go quiet here. So that's our challenge. When we're down here, we're at our loudest. The Super 8 format does not make room for error. A single loss can hamstring the chances of any school making the final. One of their guys is down. Nice, <laughs> <Not> a, <heat. laughs> a victory, no matter what the score, allows breathing space for another week. For New Plymouth, the Super 8 mountain just got steeper. Thank you first for taking the time out of your your business or your, your normal day or your school day. Boys, I'm sure you're ultra disappointed that you're not at school today. Um, to come down to Hamilton Boys and just experience what that's like. And um, hopefully that's excited you about, uh, about a couple of things applying to Boys High to try and, and, and be in this jersey one day. I think that's the dream uh, that you get to run out and, and in three, four years in this jersey and get to play in front of the school. Most of these boys have been together for, for four years. So the play that you would have seen today, especially in the first half, that's come from a, a lot of time together and a lot of hard work since about December. Uh, we'll just put our hands together for these young men for taking the time out of their day. Thank you very much, boys. Yeah. Try and get our weights in before we eat, boys. Where's that big, where's that big voice of that guy that got knocked down out of the air? Where's that guy? Does it mean we only get to sing half the song, you reckon? Or? Every year the coaches sort of get a group of boys to put some ideas together and write a song. And for the team, it's just something important, sort of just a little thing to strive for on the set day. Like if we win, it's always sort of just a little thing just for us, just for our team.
With the season poised to swing in either direction, the need to recover and reboot plays an increasingly significant role. Remember, all the way through that 30 seconds too, boys. Right, starting from Shinya down there, Shinya you're gonna go into the next lane. Freestyle down the end, freestyle back up. The devil is in the detail. And right now, Hamilton have all their preparation bases covered. Let's go to five, we'll go to five, okay? Muddy, that's the end there. There, there, that part. That part's the end. Most, most weekends after a game, um, we get the footage of, of our game and we'll do a bit of analysis of our game. I'll just look at certain areas that um, I'm sort of in charge of, but also any interesting things that I see that the, that the team might be doing. I know that our leaders um, will all be doing a specific area as well that they'll present to the team um, during the week. Uh, so we get an idea. Um, of, of what they do. After that, we focus on what we do. The players get to see not only their own game, but the opposition who they're going to play as well. I made that dawn tomorrow, eh? It was a bit lush. You get it done in the early in the morning. And I'll get some car wash today so you can wash the those cars. two cars. So I got, um, we got, we got training at, uh, at three. Be good to see all the boys at training the next morning because they've got training on the Thursday. Oh well, that's what you have to do when you're playing for the first 15, though, eh? That's true. It's the first season that you've had more um, midweek games than weekend games, yeah. eh? I am one of the deputy headmasters at the school. I'm in charge of the pastoral care area. When I first came to Avonal Boys High School in 2006, um, I started coaching the second 15, but I had a lot to do with the first 15 as well in terms of their programme. We tried to keep it as fluid as possible between the seconds and the first. And then in 2008, um, Nigel and I started working together, coaching the first 15. We drive down, take you to the bluff, you go do the bluff. Like many New Zealand families, the daily, weekly and monthly routines are often built around the rugby season. That's the other thing. Okay, we've got to fill in your enrolment form for Boys High for next year. I reckon you should just go to Fraser. I don't think so. I don't think so. And for the Boys High Rugby Programme, with its national profile, it is a yearly plan of development and nurturing of future rugby talent. Our whole focus in the junior programme is about getting the basics right. So when they get to second 15, first 15, then we can start to add the extras. We want to do the little things really, really well. And, and, and part of our point of difference is that we have a large number of players that are very accurate and they're well drilled, um, but they've also been coached from under 14s all the way up to be really, really functionally good at the core parts of the game. And the freedom afforded the coaching staff allows for a playing signature to be implemented. We, we probably have a, a reputation of playing in a certain style at first 15 level because we've, we've been coaching for, for quite a while as a, as a team. And, and that, that would be around a, 
a strong forward pack that works hard. Our levels of fitness and, and how hard we work the boys. Um, and always there's some talented backs that, that are good finishers. We're always pushing to be the hardest working first 15 in the country. Uh, if you were coaching against, against boys high, you know that you'd get punished um, for your mistakes. And, and we may not have the most elite athletes of other programs, but we've got guys that are chomping at the bit to play. They want to be there. When teams turn up here, their expectation is that it's going to be tough because every time we play here or away we expect to win. That's what you'd be expecting to see from Hamilton Boys High School. Boys who can, who are fit, who will play the whole 70 minutes, you know, will soak up pressure and then apply pressure themselves. Don't have to touch the wall, walk to the black line, back to here, standing start. What is the, the mark that we record? The architect of the Boys High Rugby Dynasty is Nigel Hotham, a coach who educates himself as much as his players. I think I'm at a stage where I really understand um, my non-negotiables, you know, my coaching philosophy. And people talk about coaching philosophy, but I, I never had an idea around that until about 10, 15 years into, into my, um, my coaching experience. The whole reason I get a buzz out of this is because every year you have a chance to, to grab a group of young men and set some goals and, and actually make a difference to them on the way and, and work your butt off to try and achieve them. That's, that's my excitement out of being involved in the, in the first 15. My first priority is just win the ball. If we win the ball and, and, and we don't get the best strike off it, it's still better than not, not winning, winning the ball. ball. Yeah. Take that kind of confidence into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it is the confidence though, yeah, hey. yeah, Just yeah. to follow through, yeah, like yeah, normally yeah, when yeah, you yeah. start to lose confidence, that's when uh, you just want to plant. You lose your feet yeah, and you yeah. go from too far away. Yeah. Um, I think always having the support throughout the season that he gives me, like he's guided me, like I only started playing fullback last year through injury and I played wing and he's guided me and he's helped me learn a new position. I think he's a great coach, he um, has a plan, sticks to it. I think he's pretty done this plan for like many years and it just seems to work. Like he wants us to be a role model, like he's always pushing us to be the best we can and set a good example for other players and younger players. I've known Mr Otham since I was about year eight and he's been a good role model to me. He's made me the man I am today. He's a good leader, um, I really look up to him. Nigel's very passionate about um, rugby, but he's also passionate about the school being successful too. And very rare to find um, people who are totally committed that will give up family time to, to be focused on this as well. It is quite hard, like if you make a mistake, you feel like a lot of pressure's on you, your dad's watching, but he's also the coach. He's real honest and he likes to keep the boys in line. If we work hard and have the attitude, then I guess everything will be right. Amidst a weather front that is beset with heavy rain, the sodden fields at Tauranga Boys High could potentially see the defending champions eliminated from contention. We were going pretty well. Obviously the road to the rural game was a bit disappointing. I think we're not playing to our full potential yet. We still have a lot more to show. Nice cover, find them, find them tight. Be aggressive to push through there. Drift! I thought that was pretty average, that play there, boys. Before the game, I was pretty nervous because I have a few mates in that team and I knew they were going to get up and we had to do the same. Uh, I think it's just more of a forwards game. They don't really try to do too much in the backs because it's a slippery ball. So they don't really want to do too many unforced errors. So just keep it closer, just let the forwards go to work and then if the opportunity arises for the backs, give it out to them, see what they can do. Should have time for about one more, so. What's it? We should have time for like one more. One more? Yeah, one more. Let's go, quick play. Luca basically going across the field now, eh, the wind? Over there. It's going to be hard for you. We're going up this way, your left foot, that side. What's the TRB paying for for us to perfect a, a line out drive that ends in a try to Mr. Kicken? I, I would say it's paying dollar five. Dollar five's good. You're going to be wired up on the field too, eh? So you're going to be our message guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. So just leave credence. Yeah. You just go to our pack and these are the messages. Now, a big part of, of our retaining ball, boys, is in our hands. If we throw rough passes, if we throw bullets on day like, days like this, it makes it tough for us. OK, so we just bring that back a tad. We just <coughs> lighten that pass up a little bit. And if it's 50-50, what do we do? Carry, carry. And we're just happy to carry. <laughs>
the adverse conditions do very little to suffocate the direct and robust style of both teams, and a physical yet expansive confrontation ensues. Work them, work them. That's a big pat on the back. Our back should be in there. Good boy, Brunt. What well on, Ford? One message to Credence from me. Go to the jab straight off the ruck rather than the punch. <laughs> Go to the jab straight off the punch. Big pat on the back to the Fords. Who was that, Rabbit? Ah, uh, Daniel. Heaps of talk, Luca. Let's go. Get up the chat. Eyes up, eyes up. A and B defenders, where are you? Get out, Ollie. Get in the line, Ollie. Get in the line. A quick turnover on their own line gives the visitors a chance to turn defence into attack. Attack! 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 Numbers, go! Attack it! Go! Go now! Go now, Luca. Good boy. Link up! Link up! Link up with them! Link up! Go, Luca! Just guess. Uh, I think it's just all the ball handling skills and all the drills that we do. We just have to have the confidence to back ourselves. If we're doing all the, that many passes a day, that it's going to come out on the field, no matter where we are on it. Luca had to pin his ears and go, or chop back to Ollie. Yeah. It was a good turnover there, Kirk. Hamilton clearly had the upper hand in the crucial fifth round match against the best from the Bay of Plenty. Well, we came out firing, eh? We, uh put some points on the board, um, put, some, put our big boys over the line, um, got good territory in the field. That first 15, where we really made our impact, scoring our first 21 points in there, so I think boys sort of felt like we had it in the bag already. We played how we wanted to play, it was our deal. Kick the corners, plug, plug the back of them, play territory, and just dominate with the ball in hand. The change from Credence from a, a dry day cookie is, is instead of getting the pot outside and get it inside yeah, him, yeah. Hey, and just yeah, let them run off it. Yeah. That penalty count now, Kirky, eh, is already starting to worry us. How far are we out, Henry? How, can you give us a gauge on that? We're about 10, 10 metres out. But just use this solo as an example, Rabbit. If you go high, they're going to hold you up. Oi, 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 our body position, like solo over there, he got smoked because he ran too high, right? Everyone's got to get lower, get lower body position. <sighs> oh, lucky. Good tackle, Luca, ball, ball, ball! Oh, hit him, hit him, chop, 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 chop! Low, solo, low. Good boy, that's better. Off him, good boy! Oh. Play on, play on! How good was Matt Dolan then? That's not in the playbook. Three early tries have Hamilton placed comfortably in front, but those precious few minutes before the halftime break proved to be game changing. Eyes up, here's our 10, eyes up on him! There he is. Let's go, Luca. Take that. Good boy. Good take. Good boy, Luca. Quick wall. Luca, work. Chop him. Chop him. Dive. 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 Not a good end to that. There's a real shot in the arm, boys. You go off your game for a second, and, and that's what happens. Now, when we look at about where, where's the improvement there, our line out. Huge improvement needed in the lineup. We've got to be smarter in our core, we've got to be better in our execution. Otherwise, we just go to scrums. Just, we just don't go to lineouts if our stats that bad. Hey, we're just giving them the ball. Hey, let that be a reminder to you boys. Hey, we go off our game an inch, and that's what that's the result. The rain closes in, forcing both teams to resort to territory-based strategies before the home team sees an opportunity. Go back! It's a tough old day, Kirk. Yeah, no, weather-wise, but we're just not, we're not doing the basics well enough. Hey. Do we ever look like we're going to win? 
Sir, sir. Thank you. Yes, we got him. Our ball boys, we got it. Far out. They came from another crap left foot kick yeah. into there that should have been there, should have been there. Make our tackles, no penalties. With the game still in the balance, a change in personnel is made. For Luke, second five. Now handling errors just let us down in that second half and they took advantage of it, um, got more territory on us. Um, and then they turned it into, into points. We got way too comfortable. Started to miss tackles, didn't get our structure right, didn't exit right, and then we just had to grind through to the end. In the moments of greatest pressure, cool heads must prevail. And most importantly, an action plan must be initiated. Just kind of talk to each other and just try to bring the energy levels back up. Try to swing the momentum in your way by gaining territory, position. Just keep it down in the end of the half. Even still, those plans are likely to be challenged. The 60th minute score is followed by a frenzied period of attack by the hosts. Hamilton, acutely aware of their slender grasp on the scoreboard, continue to hold out as the field wells up with the torrents of rain. And then a holding penalty provides a pivotal moment for the 2019 season. Bro, you just gotta get the boys up, they're flat as f And they just, all the tackles are just sloppy, sloppy tackling. If they get this, they go ahead. That's the game, pretty much. I was on the sideline, but I was aware of the score, and I knew if he made this, that probably would have been us over. Yeah, well, I actually thought we were up by another try, and then they opted for the penalty kick. Even if he got that point, that we would have had the aggression and the mongrel just to get back and do everything we could and not waste all the pre-season of running to end the season there. Next time, on the season. Made it close, boys. Took the foot off the throat, mate. That's what happens. Oh, holy. Oh my God. This is actually atrocious, though. The next time, boys, we walk onto this field, hey, it's action stations. Hey, be confident. Don't be conservative. Back yourself. Believe in our team. Believe in yourself. For more information on Hamilton Boys High School, go to hbhs.school.nz.